everybody welcome back to another episode of smokestacks uh it's been a while been a few weeks since my last video and uh, it is thanksgiving day and uh, i have a lot to be thankful for so uh i thought i'd shoot a video out to y'all um i have a grandson that's going to be born today hopefully i have a uh, daughter who turns 30 today and uh, um, I have a beautiful wife beautiful life and uh, so I have a lot to be thankful for um, you know today I thought I would get into uh, Peterson's nightcap um, a shot of it there if it'll focus in for me good enough now y'all are gonna freak out um, I've never had nightcap. <laughs> um, and, you know, I've, I don't know why I never tried it. Well, I tell you, when I first started smoking a pipe, um, like everybody else, I was into aromatics, you know, starting out. <coughs> and I bought a tin of, um, uh, early morning pipe. I just seen the label on it. Well, that looks pretty cool. You know, I'll, I'll buy that and give it a try. I filled a bowl of that early morning pipe and, um, uh, my God, how does anybody smoke this crap? You know, and, uh, like I said, I only ever smoked aromatics and, um, uh, so I never touched it again, you know, and, uh, and then years later, you know, I got away from, um, aromatics and, um, now, you know, it's English Balkan blends, you know, uh, a few Virginias, you know, <laughs> and so I never got around to, um, to trying any nightcap. And uh, when I seen that it had been restocked in uh, my local tobacco shop um, under uh, Peterson's name, um, I, man, I got to try it. I just got to try it. So here we are, and we're going to crack a brand new tin open and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> you know? um, I am going to smoke it naturally <coughs> since it was originally um, a Dunhill blend and now Peterson's I'm gonna smoke it in my Peterson's st. Nicholas pipe so uh, hope everybody's having a good holiday uh, oh I, I hear it Yes. <laughs> Funny what we get excited over. <laughs> ah. ah, yes. That leathery smell. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, here we go. Love it. You got the tobacco plant there. This is made in Denmark on it. Mmm, that looks delicious. Boy, it's packed in there too, like almost like a cake. You know, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Turn it towards the light there so you can get a little bit better shot of that. Mm. All right. It uh, looks like a fine ribbon cut. And it's packed in there. Ooh. I can tell this is going to burn nice, I hope. It is just slightly damp. Just slightly. Look at that. <laughs> you see that? Look at that, man. Mm. All right. 
Man, the cut on this is really nice. See some bright Virginia in there. You know, I hated to open it, but I thought, you know, now that I can get it, I'll buy several tins if this goes well. So, I love the tin art. <laughs> Yeah, tin art looks good on it. Yeah, you know it's it's not nighttime, but <laughs> I ain't waiting. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Looks like I didn't. I could have swore I ran a pipe fit. Cleaned it through last time. I, yeah, it's not dirty. Must have been a little bit of fuzz left from the pipe cleaner that was on there. <laughs> love this pipe, you know. I just love these holiday pipes. Actually, you know what? This is not my Peterson. This is a Savinelli. <laughs> yeah, this is my Savinelli St. Nicholas pipe. I've only smoked it probably twice three times and I've had it for almost a year I do have a Peterson it is that um, red um, spigot mount uh, very nice pipe very very nice but being it's close to the holiday seasons or it is the holiday seasons I thought I would I don't think nobody would mind if I broke out the St. Nick pipe my stuff packs really well Three matches. Damn, I wish I had it. brought another box up here. turkey smell all in the house my wife's in there in the kitchen doing her Thanksgiving Day thing you know oh, it smells good too can't wait Delightful, very delightful. Little on the strong side, but I like it. Mm. Oh, yes. You know, it kind of reminds me of Northwoods, Boswell's Northwoods, only a little stouter, a little stronger. Very pleasant though. Just enough Virginia in it, you know, to give it a little bit of sweetness. It's smoky, real smoky. Got a 
good lighty Kia flavor to it. Mm, you're gonna like it if you haven't tried it. Trust me, I like it. I like it a lot. I've got the original um, description of this that I got off of um, um, tobaccoreviews.com. A rich blend for late in the day. It is a slow lasting smoke. Just prior to packing, expensive Perique tobacco is added to enhance the bouquet. Note, formerly known as Dunhill Nightcap, STG has changed the brand name from Dunhill to Peterson. Uh, brand, Peterson, blended. <laughs> this is blended by Dunhill. Manufactured Scandinavian Tobacco Group. Blend type English contains Latakia, Oriental Turkish, Perique, and Virginia. All of it comes through too. All of it. Very nice combination. This is a ribbon cut. No flavorings added to it. Packaged in 50 gram tins. Country of origin is Denmark or UK, Denmark. And it is currently available just dang near everywhere. Peterson's Nightcap. Okay, this is a review that was done back in 2006 and this was the latest reviews that had been done um, on this website um, the guy gave it three stars out of four very strong he put in strength flavoring strong taste very full room note very strong well I would go along with some of that, but what he failed to put up there was very delightful. <laughs> okay. This is what he wrote. Okay, okay, yes, this isn't the same animal from 30 years ago. We get that much. And yes, some of you had the same experience I had. You opened up a tin of the new creature, found a lot of bright Virginias, some sassy perique, and some rather vinegary taste in Latakia. I don't go along with that at all. There's no vinegary taste to it. Some of you even tossed it out as being too brash, too tart. Not the knockout article you've been led to expect. Well, he says, shame on you. I agree. If you threw it out, shame on you, man. This is good stuff. You just got to be ready. You just got to be ready for for a good strong tobacco. And uh, for being a strong tobacco, it's very pleasant. You're you're really going to enjoy it. Um, this is one fine blend. It just needs to settle in. Here's what you do. Get yourself a big bell mason jar, one of the quart sized ones. Make sure it's screw top lid, seal jar, just like Granny made pickles and preserves in. Don't settle for fancy leveler seals or ceramic jars. They will disappoint you. Open up your tin of nightcat, empty the content. Nightcap, nightcat. <laughs> Empty contents into a mason jar, screw on the lid for a tight seal. Shake well to loosen up the, the players. Now stick that jar in the bottom of your closet and forget it exists. Come back two weeks later, shake it up, and put it back. 
Come back in another two weeks and give it a good shake. Now open the jar. This is the aroma, the aroma you have been seeking. Go ahead, fire it up. See why everyone else loves this blend so much. This is the, the aroma you've been seeking. Go ahead, fire it up. See why everyone else loves this blend so much. It is the Nightcap from 1975. No, but you know what? Who cares? It's a fine blend in its own right, given the proper time and space to get itself together. So fire up your magic basement, closet, cupboard, stick, or <laughs> a few jars of nightcap in there. You won't regret it. Um, I would go along with this. It is damn good, man. Damn good. I can't believe somebody would throw it out. Um, well, smokingpipes.com put this out. When Dunhill announced it was no longer being produced, um, or producing tobaccos, pipe smokers <laughs> read, rued the loss of some of their favorite mixtures. Thanks to Peterson, however, those beloved blends are still available. They're the same recipe and feature the same tin art as Dunhill's, just rebranded for Peterson. Peterson, Peterson here offers Nightcap, a rich blend of Virginia Oriental Latakia tobaccos intended to be smoked late in the day. It's a smoky delight, satisfying smoke with a hint of Perique added to enhance the bouquet. All I know is whoever came up with it. Hope they're having Thanksgiving. <laughs> it is good. It is really good. And um, you're going to really enjoy it. Um, it's delicious. And yes, definitely I'm going to stock up on a few tins. Don't know if you can ever get it in bulk, but if I can, I'm gonna get it in bulk. I'm gonna do just like the man said. So, hopefully my grandson will be born today. His name's gonna be Parker. Ain't that a name? Now that's a sophisticated name, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, this would be green kid number 10. Um, can't wait. I put my son on an airplane yesterday. Uh, my daughter lives in Denver. And uh, put my son yesterday on an airplane. And uh, thankful. You know, that he, he just got to squeeze in there right before the weather hit, you know, or right afterwards. And uh, it was kind of touch and go there whether or not he was going to be able to, uh, to make it or not, whether they would cancel the flight. Um, I've got some health issues that uh, keep me from flying, so uh, I... We got to do the next best thing, you know, stick my son out there and um, um, hopefully I'll get to see little Parker soon. Anyhow, back to the tobacco. It's really good stuff. Um, you're missing out. If you, if you don't buy yourself a tin of it, you're really missing out. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, Mm. Mm. so delightful like I said and everything all, all the the different tobaccos in there they come together so well
and it does settle down. Once it's in your pipe, you get a little bit smoked, it does settle down, you know. The flavoring, you know, it, it just it just all comes together so well. Glad I didn't uh, I didn't sell her that tin <laughs> and uh, <coughs> save it for a rainy day. I was just uh, now I know what I'm getting, you know, and uh, I'm definitely going to get more. Well, that's about it. Uh, to all of my family. Um, I got family spread out everywhere. Northern Missouri and Colorado. Um, to all of you, um, I hope you have a very, very good Thanksgiving. And uh, I love you and miss all of you. Uh, to everybody out there in the, the YouTube pipe community, have a very, very good Thanksgiving and uh, um, and a blessed day and um, we will be seeing you in our next video until then bye bye